warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah, 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 Wassalatu wassalamu ala asratu anbiya wa musalim Wa ala alihi wa sabiya jemain aman batu Yang saya selamat pagi, salam sejahtera bagi kita semua Yang saya hormati, Bapak Kepala Sekolah Islam Negeri Satu Sedayu Yang terhormat pula Bapak Ibu Guru, Staf Tata Laksana, serta Pustakawan SMA Negeri Satu Sedayu Yang terhormat Bapak Rusdianta SPD, serta Ibu Tirta Jasunawati SPD Selaku juri lomba storytelling pada hari ini Serta teman-teman peserta lomba yang berbahagia Puji syukur kita panjatkan kehadiran Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala yang telah melimpahkan rahmat dan hidayahnya sehingga kita bisa berkumpul di sini pada da- pada acara lomba storytelling dalam rangkaian peringatan HUT SMA Negeri 1 Sedayu pada hari ini. Salawat serta salam senantiasa kita curahkan kepada junjungan kita Nabi Nabi Muhammad SAW yang senantiasa kita nantikan syafaatnya di Yawmul Qiyamah. Tidak lupa, kami ucapkan terima kasih kepada teman-teman peserta lomba atas partisipasinya dan kehadiran pada pagi hari ini. Uh, baik, sebelum melangkah lebih jauh, teman-teman dan ibu bapak sekalian, perkenankan kami memperkenalkan diri, saya Alfie Ramawati dan rekan saya Okta Ramadana yang akan memandu jalannya acara lomba storytelling pada pagi hari ini. Bapak, Ibu, dan juga teman-teman sekalian izinkan kami membacakan susunan acara pada hari ini Untuk acara yang pertama yang di pembukaan disambung dengan pembacaan syarat dan ketentuan lomba Kemudian penampilan peserta dan yang terakhir adalah penutup Baik Bapak, Ibu, dan teman-teman Sebelum memulai marilah kita berdoa demi kelancaran acara atau kegiatan pada pagi hari ini Berdoa menurut agama dan kepercayaan masing-masing, berdoa di persilangan. Cukup. Yang selanjutnya adalah pembacaan pedoman dan syarat ketentuan lomba storytelling hari ini. Untuk pedoman, cerita diambil dari buku-buku sumbangan Extensive Reading Foundation. Untuk pedoman penilaian, Yang pertama untuk interpretasi naskah poin maksimal 30, untuk vokal poin maksimal 20, gestur poin maksimal 20, kreativitas poin maksimal 15, penampilan keseluruhan atau kesatuan total maksimum 15 dengan total maksimum penilaian sejumlah 100. Selanjutnya untuk syarat dan ketentuan lomba storytelling. Yang pertama, satu kelas diwakili satu, lom, satu peserta lomba. Yang kedua, pendaftaran peserta mulai tanggal 18 sampai dengan 27 Juli 2023, jam 8 sampai dengan jam 12, jam 14 WIB di perpustakaan Lomba Gana SMA Negeri 1 Sedayu. Yang ketiga, sifat lomba perorangan. Yang keempat, durasi waktu maksimal 5 menit. Yang kelima, peserta wajib melakukan registrasi ulang 30 menit sebelum lomba dimulai dan pengambilan nomor urut peserta lomba. Yang keenam, peserta yang sudah registrasi ulang dan mendapat nomor urut harus siap berada di tempat lomba. Yang ketujuh, peserta wajib berada di tempat lomba selama lomba berlangsung. Yang kedelapan, pada waktu lomba naskah untuk storytelling dikumpulkan sebanyak dua lembar ke panitia lomba. Yang ke-9, peserta diperkenankan menggunakan properti yang mendukung penampilan dan juga diutamakan bagi peserta untuk tidak membaca, akan tetapi diperkenankan juga bagi peserta untuk membaca. Yang ke-10, peserta diwajibkan memakai seragam sekolah. Yang ke-11, pengumuman pemenang akan ditentukan kemudian. Yang ke-12, pemenang terdiri dari juara 1, 2, dan 3. Dan yang terakhir, keputusan juri tidak bisa diganggu-gugat. Tanpa mengulur waktu, langsung saja kita masuk pada acara selanjutnya, yakni penampilan storytelling dari teman-teman perwakilan kelas. Kepada perwakilan kelas 102, Agatha Puspa Aksari dipersilakan untuk menuju ke panggung. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is Agatha Puspa Aksari. I'm from Tentukas. So now I walk. I will tell you a story, and the title of the story is Green Island. One day, Mr. Jensen took his glass 
away for the week. They went to the civil house. Everyone unloaded the bus and there were heavy bags and cases. Tip and Will scrambled to the trip to the top cup and Mr. Jensen tossed a coin. So they stopped the building. The next day, Mr. Jensen gave the children a map, then he took the children for a long walk. And after a while, they stopped for a rest. Whose island is that? Well, this good island! After a long walk, everyone was hungry, so they got back. It's time for supper, and they help was the night the children were tired but they couldn't sleep. Tip told jokes and made silly races. In the end, Mr. Jensen came and was close to Tip. Next day, the children went to the beach and some worked with Mr. Jensen. They made squares and looked everything in each square. Some children work with pieces made. They look in all the rock pools. Chip and Anina found a seagull it couldn't fly. The seagull can fly because it has oil and feathers. If anyone can help, Mrs. Honey can. Oh, the seagull needs to play and sleep, Mrs. Honey. The feather seagull will be damaged, so we'll clean the oil off, then we'll look after it for a week or two, and its feathers will be better. Mrs. Honey looked, Mrs. Honey looked after all kinds of animal. She showed the animal that she gave, then she gave it some pills to see other and Mrs. Honey for her funeral. If you like, you can come to the island with me and watch me let you go. The children went across to Green Island in the boat. Mrs. Henny stopped a little away from the island. Sandy and Nina pointed to some rocks. There are many sea others left. Mrs. Henny let you go. The other divided into the sea and swam towards the rock. Let go, you can get up and explore. If you keep quiet, you will see all kinds of interesting seabirds. The children saw a small cave. I wonder if it's hit her treasure yet. Maybe it's a secret tunnel? Say nothing. But when they got to the cave, they found some drums. This drum has been dumped on the on Green Island. They are full of toxic waste kept away from them everywhere. Say Mrs. Henny. We should tell the police, say Mrs. Jensen. Tim and Will run up to Mrs. Jensen. There's a boat coming to the island. Say Tim. Give up. Outside everyone, I want to see what the people are doing. The boat stopped at the island and they leave some drums out of the boat and began to carry them towards the cave. I want everyone to run back to my boat. Don't make a sound. I'm an idea. The children did what Mrs. Heidi told them. I hope the boat will start. If it doesn't, I don't know what this shall do. Will and Tim post the boat out with the oars and Mrs. Honey start the engine. I hope Mrs. Honey and Mrs. Jensen will be alright. Mrs. Honey in your work. She and Mrs. Jensen have taken the boat and, the, and other people couldn't get off. I let me love you. Hooray! Hey, what are you doing with our boat? Bring it back, shouted a man. Ah, I will get up the police to bring it back, shouted Mrs. Honey. 
the police took the people of the island. Well, thinking the boy was a brilliant idea. I'm glad the, the other people will be safe on the island now, said Edna. At the end of the week, there was a party. Mrs. Hunt, Mrs. May played a guitar and everyone sang songs. A photograph came then she took a photograph. Yay, we're going to be in the newspaper. We're going to be famous. The next day, the story of Green Ellen was in the newspaper. I'm going to be I'm going to buy three newspapers. One for me, one for mom and my dad, and one for my grand. So thank you for your storytelling. kelas 102 ada kampus Aksari. Untuk selanjutnya penampilan yang kedua yaitu penampilan dari kelas 1251 Holicah dan Abdullah. Kepada Holicah dan Abdullah dipersilakan. Yeah. 
Jesus is now not only the rest. One day he, and one day he decided to go to work, search for food, for himself. He's the star on stage, and he, one day he goes to the river and found a village where he Send me his friends leave. Then maybe like something the thing to come good day for him. And when they let him go to the city, but in the city the same owner can be dead again, he sell the cups to a evil man who like to beat him up and take him to the dog fight. He's great fight, he's he's a good great fighter. It's all the same, but one day he's uh, he's lose and uh, he is so bad and cry and stop and mad, said him. They broke in, they take care of him, and everything is going to go great again. Alright, so let's see what I can tell you. Can you tell me? Terima kasih kepada perwakilan dari kelas 12 MIPA 1 Untuk peserta yang selanjutnya, nomor bersiap teman-teman Kita memberikan peserta nomor 3 dari perwakilan kelas 12 PS2 Cynthia Melani di persilakan
forsake to keep to bed. At least he falls asleep suddenly the next he came began to go. Untuk peserta selanjutnya kita panggilkan perwakilan dari kelas 106 Kavi Aulia Vita Azara bersalaman. Sheriff's 
took them to the village. He said, my castle is too far away, so we'll stop you. One of my men will see you. Don't get away. Keeper went up to the man. He gave the man a sweet. What is that thing? He asked. You lock people in it, said the man. You can't lock people in that, said Keeper. You can't get them in. Oh, yes, you can, said the man. Look, he put his hand and it's over. Ha, said Keeper. He fell for it. He looked the man and took away his keys. Rip, said the man. Keeper set them free. Let's go back to the woods. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Diperkenankan untuk datang ke panggung ekspresi perwakilan dari kelas 104 Vidi Gina Araya.
Saludos, Padre.
persiapan sebelum semuka sakit? Good morning everyone, my name is Adi Shibani Rasita from class 12, Social 4. And today I'd like to present to you all a story called Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. The Nashville family lived together in an old and large mansion in the countryside of England. The mansion was owned by Mr. Nashville's uncle. And there, Mr. Nashville lived with his second wife, Mrs. Nashville, and their three children, Eleanor, Marianne, and Margaret. Though they are allowed, they are allowed to live in the mansion for the time being, the will of Mr. Dashwood's uncle said that the house would be inherited by Mr. Dashwood's first son from his first wife, which is John Dashwood. Due to Mr. Dashwood's old age, he soon fell sick and eventually passed away. And just like the will said, John Dashwood would be the one to inherit the estate with his wife, Fanny Carrars. Now, Mr. Dashwood had already told John that he should take care of his sisters and his stepmother. In doing so, John planned to let them stay in the house for a while, and also to give them some money every month so they could live comfortably together. His wife, Fanny Ferrars, did not agree with this idea at all. She was greedy and selfish. So, she told John that he should really just give them a minimum amount of inheritance, and they should just live off of what they have. She also told them to live outside of the house because this was now their own home. Now, as you can see, Fanny is not really a likable person, and the Dashwood sisters and stepmother did not like Fanny at all. But they did like Fanny's brother, Edward Cross. Eleanor especially, because Eleanor and Edward get along very well from the moment they've met. And a lot of the Dashwood family thought that a marriage would come from their relationship. Marianne, though she liked Edward, she didn't think he'd be a good match for marriage because he just seems to lack passion and spirit. Eleanor didn't mind, though. She liked Edward as he is. Because of their relationship, Fanny did not like Eleanor especially. She did not want Eleanor to marry her brother. And when the day came that the Dashwoods would leave the house, she just couldn't be happier. Since they were now out of a home, the Dashwood sisters were helped by an acquaintance, Sir John Middleton, who offered them a home at the outskirts of his estate. There, he invited them all for dinner with his acquaintances. And in that dinner, they made one of his friends, Sir Colonel Brandon. He's a somber guy, old and not very spirited. But he did take a liking to Marianne. He enjoyed the scenes at her play the piano. Marianne did not like Sir Colonel Brandon. She thinks that he just lacks life, and he's just not very exciting. She values a person who is very spirited and fun. And her wish eventually came true when one day, Marianne came home during, during a large rainstorm. Her leg was hurt, and she was carried home by the ocean, Sir Willoughby. From that day, Mary and Sir Willie became close friends, and eventually they seemed to be flirting with each other and unashamedly seemed to enjoy each other's company. Marianne did not like this at all. She thinks Eleanor did not like this at all. She thinks Marianne should be more careful. But Mary didn't care. She liked Willoughby, and she's just going to have fun with him all the time. One day, Willoughby left the city, left the country. And Marion was so sad because he did not return. She cried for days in her room, and no one was able to comfort her. Eleanor herself was sad because she could not meet with Edward. When Edward finally came to the room home, he said that he was engaged to another woman. This made Eleanor very sad and strong, but she kept all of her feelings to herself. She did not want to share her emotions like Mary Anton. And so as time passed, they were invited to yet another dinner with Sir John Middleton and his home. There, they meet his, they meet his faraway family, Anne and Lucy Steele. Now, he did not like Anne very much, but he did enjoy Lucy Steele. But then one day, Lucy Steele told Eleanor 
that she was the one who was engaged to Edward Ferraris. This made Eleanor incredibly upset and distraught. I don't know what happened to those names. Something made him open one eye. 
the magic is was glowing. Dogs don't have magic adventure by themselves. The magic began to work. Floppy was in a big city. The city was full of people and traffic. Everyone was busy. So this is the big city. I've never seen so many people. And I've never seen such tall buildings. Thought Floppy. Floppy explored the city. There was a brown outside the shop. And the grandma was a baby. Suddenly the grandma began to move. The baby's mother had forgotten to put the brake on. At first, nobody saw the grandma moving, but then it began to move. The grandma rolled out into the road. Help me! Help my, help my baby! My baby will be killed! The grandma rolled out into the road, but I know it was going too fast for anyone to stop it. Flappy saw the grandma run down the hill. This looks like a job for me, he thought. Floppy ran after the friend and grabbed it with his teeth. He stopped in in the stand. Everyone came running up. They made a fuss of Floppy. It's a super dog, someone shouted. It was nothing, it was nothing, said Floppy. From the end, it was nothing about Floppy. Suddenly, a lot of things happened. From the handbag team, a boy falling into the water, a lost dog and even a person who almost fell off a building. All of that was resolved because of a floppy's help. It seemed like a job for him. Suddenly the magic begins to glow again. It's time for floppy adventure to end. I can't say I'm sorry, thought floppy. Poor guy. Bill was crossed when she found floppy on her bed. Floppy jumped off the bed and grabbed on the stand. The children took Floppy's outside. It's time to do the dog of the year show course again, they said. Suddenly, Floppy went off. He jumped off over the fence and ran away as fast as he could. Floppy ran into the park and hid inside the giant park. I don't want to be a super dog. I don't want a dog of the year. I'm not a super dog. I'm just me. I'm just a floppy little dog who wants a little bit of this. In the end, everyone has their own view. So you don't have to work hard to look good in the eyes of other people. I'm just me. In the eyes of other people, don't have to work hard to look good. Just be yourself and be a good version of yourself. Our life is not to satisfy this inside.
People passing us about the woman behind her. The doctor answered that she was not her mother but her son. The mother kept silent, but inside her deep heart, she prayed to God to punish her daughter. Suddenly, her doctor lays into turn up in the stone. The doctor realized that it was because she had her mother face. She did not mother to forget when it was too late. Slowly, her body also turned it into stone. Took the doctor half in the stone. The tears will still seen, which is why the stone was called Batumnalis. Thank you. Terima kasih kepada Duda Amalia Sono, perwakilan sebelas IPS 1. Untuk yang selanjutnya, perwakilan dari 12 MIPA 4, D. Alexander Madina. Then ask the goblin to find the Lord of Tears' place. Then 
and we go and see that the Lord of Tears leave behind the sea of sadness. Once again, the critical if Sarah and Ben want to play music for them. So, they say that the Lord of Tears has taken all of our instruments. Sarah and Ben then agreed to play music for them. Then, the goblin gave Sarah and Ben a bow. They still blessed toward the setting sun. After they arrived to the shore of sea of sadness, they can only see rocks. But then a dwarf came. Sarah and Ben asked the dwarf for help. Then the dwarf tell that the Lord of Tears leave in the fortress of fear. That is so that 
and go find his room with your clothes and show her pass. And go. Finally, because he can win really with some help from his friend and say. Untuk yang selanjutnya perwakilan dari sebelas Nipa lima, Naura Zalfa Hairunisa. Terima kasih kepada Pak Ketua Sekolah Nasional Nawaitan Pak Ketua Sekolah Nasional. 